everybody. Uh, this is Tim. Welcome back to another episode of the Boone County Beekeeper. Now today is uh, Thursday. It's uh, the 11th day of uh, May. Uh, absolutely, it's been a wonderful day, beautiful day. And uh, we just got done transferring uh, that swarm uh, over into this uh, colony right here. And uh, we went ahead and, and checked uh, some of our other our hives. Now, I went ahead and brought those uh, supers back up and put them back on our production hives. A couple of them are, are pretty strong. One is really strong. Uh, the one in the middle, it's iffy where it's swarmed so much. The one on the on this side, the one we followed all last year, it's not as strong as I'd like to see, but it's still uh, pretty strong. So I think we'll get some honey off of it if we get a, a decent flow. Flow's just now getting ready to start. I see uh, one tulip bulb up here, so it's uh, it's getting ready to start the tulip popper. Now, I uh, just wanted to jump in here real quick and uh, just check in on these girls here. Uh, I actually did this uh, the other day, Saturday, uh, but for whatever reason, I got about halfway through and the, the camera just shut off. Uh, I wanted to just give you a little glance inside of this, uh, this hive. I'm going to tell you guys, I've only been here a couple times, but so far, what I see of this right here, uh, I love it, guys. I, I really do. I like it a lot. Uh, it seems like it's really going to be a, a nice setup. It's... Uh, very much like the uh, like the apple may. Now, if you'll see here, uh, they've been drinking a lot of feed. Uh, they've been drinking quite a bit. Uh, them feeders work great. Uh, they work just like the apple may. Uh, they seem to really work good. So I'm I'm really pleased with that. They've drunk all their syrup. Uh, I will give them just a dab more before we go, even though we got some flow getting ready to start. Uh, every time I've been in here, I have seen the queen. And uh, saying that, I want to tell you a couple things. Uh, tell you where we're at here before we get started with our colonies. Uh, if you remember, on this one here, the very first frame that I pulled out of the swarm trap, we saw the queen on there. So that's a good sign. A real pretty blonde-looking queen. Uh, same as here. They may even actually be sisters, I don't know, because I call them at the same place. Uh, very possible they could be related. Um, I jumped in my nukes. Um, the little three-framer up there, uh, the one, if you remember, I had a ball of bees I just dumped in there. Well, guess what, guys? They got along. It wasn't World War III like I thought it would be. Uh, we had a little ball of bees out here the other day. It was just on the ground under that swarm that I caught. I think that was the actual queen was in it, a virgin. I throwed them in that three-framer with the rest of those bees because they didn't have a queen. And sure enough, I just went through it. Uh, they're, they're queen right now. She's not laying. She's not laying, but we do have a virgin queen in there. So that's, that's a good thing. Uh, now, I checked the other two five-frame nukes. Uh, both of them are laying, so we do have laying queens in those. So uh, the only thing right now that we do not have a queen in is the long hive. And uh, i tell you what I may do here today. Depending on how this old girl here is doing, I may go ahead and steal me a frame out of here and put in that long hive. And then I may wait till Saturday. We've got so many bees flying around here. Now, these are trying to figure out where their home was went, so I don't know. I'm afraid we're going to a big robin session started here in a minute. But we'll just glance in here for a second, and I may just wait till uh, Saturday to come up and do that. As you can see, we got plenty of bees here. Uh, they, are, they seem to really, really be doing pretty well in this plastic hive, and I was just wondering how they would do and they're doing really good now. Empty foundation. I tell you, uh, for the money, you can't beat it. I mean, it's uh, it seems like a pretty pretty nice setup. Okay, here's just some uh, empty wax. Uh, that was an old honey frame that I put in there. You want to see that? That's just an old honey frame. Um, don't see any eggs on that one there. When I get in there and see the queen, if I can, I'll get her over and I'll show her to you. She's a 
real pretty. There's an empty foundation that I put in. And here's one that they're just starting to work on. If you remember, guys, this is a very, very small swarm. Very small. Now, building this one out, just starting to build. Uh, do not see the queen on this frame. Looks like they're storing nectar in there. Don't see any eggs. We'll have to see how this old girl does. I don't know. We'll we'll see how she she gets along. Time will tell. I love swarm trapping. I really, really do. I, I just I love it. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, nectar frame, loads of nectar. Uh, there's some old brood. Let's see, this one here is full of nectar. Uh, brood that is emerging. Do not see the queen on this frame either. I do see a lot of pollen baskets on the bees. Guys, this flow is getting ready to kick in here. For whatever reason, we're always about a week or two later up here than everywhere else but you know i don't think that that's a bad thing here's a medium frame look hey look here is she a layer look here let me show you this frame of brood this was a medium frame uh one that i gave them i wanted to boost them up a little bit but she has absolutely laid that full cat brood i see larva and all those cells uh, i do not see her immediately on there but she's probably not because we really don't have anywhere to lay. Good looking healthy bees. Uh, we'll, we'll grow them and we will uh, treat them and we will see how they do in this plastic hive, guys. All right, let's keep on looking for her. We may or may not see, I'm not the best queen spotter. That's uh, another thing that I really want to do. I want to uh, start marking my queens and I'm going to do that here after this flow goes away I'm going to concentrate on marking my queens now another uh, frame of brood that's a starter strip that I had in there laying it up good I do see some eggs I see some larva so she's doing her thing I believe she's going to be a good one I really really do see larva there eggs I'd like to see her sometimes they get a little camera shy sometimes okay one more frame guys but they're doing well I just wanted to give you a little update just a little short video to show you they have adapted well in this thing and uh, Nectar, man, they're storing nectar and uh, pollen, bee bread. Looks good. Just starting on this right here on this side. So I don't know where our little lady's at. Ain't no telling. But we'll not worry about it. We know she's in there. I saw her the other night. So that's basically all I wanted to do was just show you what we had and uh, let you see this plastic hive. I tell you, it's it's going to be okay, I believe. I believe we're going to do well with it. Pretty bees. Lots and lots of pollen coming in, guys. Been a very weird year so far. Very, very weird. Now, uh, the feeder. The feeder I like very well. It, uh, it seems to really work good. So, uh, would I buy another one? I guess that's the question. Uh, yes, I would. I would buy another one. Uh, I would I'll make sure that queen wasn't on that frame. She's not. I would buy another one. Uh, but they're like two hundred and some dollars uh, versus me making my own. So <laughs> probably, to be honest with you, the next thing that I want to try. Uh, I want to try one of those anails. Um, if I could find the right price on an anail, 
uh, I would try that. They're made in Greece. Uh, John Smith there with Central Beekeeping Supply down in Arkansas, he sells them. Uh, a few places sell them. Uh, they're very similar. Uh, the bottom board is just a little bit different, uh, but it all locks. Uh, they actually have a, uh, a feeder uh, that sits on the top, kind of like the old Man Lake feeders uh, where they can come up on each end, but they actually have a hole right here in the middle uh, of the plastic lid. So all you gotta do is just pop that up and you can pour your feed right in without even having to get in the hive. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, so basically that was it. Just wanted to give you a little update on this. We'll let them go another week or two and uh, we'll get back in there and see how they're doing. I may come over and rob a frame of eggs, uh, maybe this weekend, I won't film it. And maybe put in that long hive. Uh, or I'll tell you what I may do. I may take that three framer and I may try to combine it, I don't know. Um, I've asked that question to Ricky Rourke and to uh, also to Bruce Jenny about combining in the long hive, I don't know. Uh, would I put a, a sheet of newspaper in there and try it? I, I don't know, uh, it'd be a, a horizontal split instead of a, a vertical. Uh, I don't know, it might work. There's a small, I may be just able to go over there and just go, she's not laying. I may this weekend just take her over and just throw them in there and just see what happens. Uh, I have to think on that. So uh, guys, this is Tim. Thank you for being with us. Uh, hope you are well, hope your family's well. God bless you, God bless your family. God bless your bees. I hope everything's going good in your life and I just wanna thank you once again for being with us. If you don't care, uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, that's what gets these videos out there to everybody to see. And I sure do. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate all the wonderful comments. Uh, everything that you say, everything that you do, guys. So just thank you a lot. Uh, just want to throw something out, give you a little update. So until next time, this is Tim, the Boone County Beekeeper. Thanks for stopping by.